look at this guy. Oh, that eye contact is just rough. How's it going, everybody? I am DadBod, your official Celeste Mod ambassador. This video came out oh, two years ago. And while the contents of this video are still pretty relevant, a lot has changed since then. And there have just been a lot better ways of going about installing Celeste mods and just how we run everything. So today we're going to look at a new, uh, new piece of software by the creator of Everest, which is the program needed to run Celeste mods called Olympus. So let's check it out. All right, so before we get started, a little bit of self-promotion. Uh, if you're not a member of the channel yet, don't forget to subscribe. This channel is almost exclusive to the Celeste modding scene, so anytime anything big comes out, you will typically see it here first. Uh, and with that in mind, let's take a look at what we're dealing with. Now, obviously, a prerequisite is you got to own the game. This program works for every version of Celeste, with the exception of the Microsoft Store version. If that changes at any point in time, you will see it updated in the description because I'm not going to release a whole new video just for that. So you can just quickly check the description. But as of right now, doesn't work. Uh, everything else it will work fine for. This is going to be for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So it's uh, obviously I'm on a Windows machine. So the majority of stuff you're going to see is coming from a Windows machine. So that is what we are going to uh, just be working off of. So you are aware. Another thing to note. In the description, you will see a link to the official Celeste Discord server. If you encounter issues installing any of this stuff, you need to hop in there, jump into the modding section, and there you'll find a ton of helpful people who will uh, kind of give you a hand making that uh, work. Jade, who created this program, is also there. Very, very helpful as well, very knowledgeable. So just keep that in mind. I have my own personal Discord server, but it's not a tech bench. It's not a help desk. It's, uh, it's there to kind of discuss Celeste mods, just hang out, play games. There are people that can help, but also the person who created this program is available in the Celeste Discord. So just keep that in mind. All right. Well, at this time, uh, if you would be so kind, swing into the description of this video and you will see a link for everestapi.github.io. And that's going to take us to this page right here. I'll wait. Okay, so we're going to do all of this together. On the side here, we're going to see four different buttons. The first one is Install Everest. Next, we have Download Mods, Join the Celeste Cord, Check the Wiki. Uh, what's really nice is the wiki has just tons of resources for how to make custom maps and how to just install mods, everything. If you're more of a visual learner, this video obviously is probably the reason why you're here. Uh, but also, if you want to learn how to make your own maps, there's a ton of resources in there. I have a bunch of videos on how to uh, make maps as well. So if you want, you can check those out. Join the Celeste Cord. This link literally just takes you to the Discord server. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask them there. Downloading mods will take us right to the Game Banana page. The Game Banana page has all the uh, available mods, which we will get to in just a little bit. What we are going to concern ourselves with right now is installing Everest. So we're going to click that. It's going to take us down here. And it is going to uh, essentially, so if you're on Windows, if you're on Mac OS, if you're on Linux, you choose what you are working on. They're all pretty straightforward. Personally, I'm on a Windows machine, so it says if you're on Windows, we're going to download Olympus.exe from Game Banana and run it. So I'm going to click this. It's going to take us to the Game Banana page. And the very first option is Olympus.exe. I'm going to download it and see what we get. So we have this file downloaded, we are going to open, and it should look a little something like this. So first thing is to say, hey, there's a new version of Olympus available, do you want to update? Always, always update your Olympus. Always update your Everest. Always update your Ahorn. Those are very important things. Do it right now. All right, very cool. It's been updated, doesn't take very long. Let's restart it. So we're going to see a good couple of things here, and we're going to just start from the very beginning couple things when you see the little exclamation point those are things that you want to pay the most attention to uh, what's really nice is olympus will automatically find whatever version that you have in most cases so if you have like the steam version epic games whatever it should be able to find it no problem if it's installed in a location that's not ordinary there's a spot that allows you to kind of define where that location is so the first thing we're going to do is go to install everest we can see, okay, your Celeste installs list is empty. Let's press the manage button below. So we're gonna manage it. It is found 
Uh, the Steam version, gonna add. Awesome. And now back to the Everest installer up here. We are just going to, uh, we can pick the newest version. Uh, the latest stable version is gonna be in green, which is pinned at the top, which is really nice. If you're looking for the absolute latest version though, it is at the top uh, in like a yellow. Uh, but we are gonna pick the most stable version in this case. Some mods will require that you use the latest version, but you typically wanna stick with the stable. We're gonna hit install. It's doing its thing. We wait. Grab a cold beverage. It's delicious. All right, and we are done. We will then click launch. So it says Everest is now starting in the background. You can close this window. Cool. Just did. And now we wait again. All right, now that Celeste is loaded, we can see in the bottom left corner it says Everest version 1.2. 2519.0 Azure. Uh, that means that Everest is successfully uh, installed. And we can see that your menu now looks a little bit different than it did in the original vanilla version. So the first thing you're gonna see is mod options. Mod options is a, uh, a new option that you now have. So there are gonna be certain mods that people have created to um, just adjust things in the game, add extra effects, what have you, uh, different quality of life things that they've built, and all of that can be found in here and can be adjusted in here, uh, as well as if you use uh, something like the um, like CelesteNet, if you wanna play online with people, which is really cool, that video is also in my channel if you wanna learn how to do that. But the thing that is going to be, I guess the most important for you to remember as to, you know, as you're playing this is if you need to change the Everest version, you can do it through here, you can do it through Olympus. Checking for mod updates is really nice because when you are searching for mods, if you have a huge list of them, eventually, and over time, they get updates. Instead of going and individually selecting every single one, we can check for mod updates, and then we can see here that there are one, two, three, four, five different mods that require an update. From here, I can just click one and update it, or we can just update all mods, which is typically what we want to do. And once it does that, it's it'll restart, and then you'll have the latest version of all of those mods. All right, so we have Everest installed. We are ready to go. So the question you're probably now asking is like, okay, well, how do I get mods installed on my computer? How can I start playing them? Really easy. Back in Olympus, this tool is fantastic. By the way, there is a button that says Download Mods. This links us to the Game Banana page, which, I mean, it's... Everything is right here. So you have the first page is any maps that have been featured on the Game Banana page. And then we can just look at the very first page of maps and we see something that we may like and we can get it from here. Alternatively, we can just go right to the Game Banana page for Celeste and we can see that there's a whole bunch of uh, different maps here. So we will pick this one because shameless self-promotion, it's kind of like my map. So this is a map that I just released yesterday, and you can get a lot more information on the Game Banana page if you want. And uh, so we can see here any information that you want about it. Uh, down here, you will see any dependencies that are required to make this map run. A dependency is a different type of mod that you need. It contains different assets or graphics or just something to make the core map work. And if you don't have all six of these, then your map will not work. So there are a couple ways that we can download a map. First is from the Game Banana page itself. There is a uh, button right here called Olympus One Click Installer. This is by far the easiest way of doing things. If a mapper has their map packaged correctly, uh, it will allow us to have the One Click Install. And you can simply click it, open Olympus, and Olympus will open up, successfully install the map. Cool. You could also manually download this and put it in your mods folder. If you do that, we need to follow these steps. All right, for me, I'm using the Steam version of Celeste, and the path is right here. Celeste, there's a folder called Mods that is created for Everest, and then you would drop the zip file that you download just into this folder, 
But if you can just use the one-click installer, it is so much easier than manually downloading it and dropping a zip in here. Just saves you a bunch of time and, and headache. Alternatively, in Olympus, if you go into Manage Installed Mods, we can see that there's actually a folder right here called Open Mods Folder. When you click it, it will actually just open that folder. So if you have a hard time finding it, that's probably the easiest way of doing it, honestly. I don't know why I didn't think of that in the first place. All right, alternatively, if you want to download the map from Olympus, we can see here, this button here will give us some extra information. We can open that in the browser. And then the green button right here will allow us to download uh, the map. So you obviously want to click the most recent version, which in this case is 1.12. And then it will load. And as soon as it's done downloading, we're ready to go. So let's launch and uh see how it looks all right celeste is loaded i'm super hype ready to play this map oh this is a problem 10 mods failed to load what is going on here well sometimes if you forget to download a dependency you may have an error where the mod will fail to load because that dependency is needed to get that running and you can see a list of all the different maps that will not work if you don't have this installed. What's really, really nice, so you don't have to individually go through and download every single dependency, is you can download the mod. Everest will automatically know which uh, dependencies need to be updated or installed, and we can just say install missing dependencies. In this case, I deleted Frost Helper for an example. We're gonna install missing dependency. It logs onto Game Banana, downloads Frost Helper, installs it for us, and then it resets the, the system and it's ready to go. It's really convenient. All right, so we have Frost Helper installed. All the dependencies are set. We are ready to go. Uh, we can do one of two things. If you have debug mode enabled, you can go in debug mode and just play. It won't count towards your actual game card, uh, which is good for like play testing, building your own map, things of that nature. But we are just going to go ahead and go into climb. You can see we've got a couple uh, couple cards open. There's a mod for that. We'll load it into this one. And we can see on the bottom left side, there's the little picture of Madeline with the plus sign. On controller, I'm using the start button. Um, it really depends on what system you're uh, using to open that up and what your controller configuration looks like. So I can open that up. And from here, you can search for mods. You can go through and uh, pretty much pick any kind of map that you're looking for. In this case, I've already got Ferocious Sanctuary Plus by I Am Dad Bod play now for free so let's check it out boom what do you know beautiful all ready to go and and that's really all you need to do to uh to get uh any of these mods loaded it's not a terribly difficult process but i do know that it's not the easiest process either so let's before we go touch on a few more things and then uh, i'll let you get back to playing some new mods. All right, let's take a look at what else Olympus has for us here. On the very top, we can see these two buttons, Everest and Celeste, which is really nice because you can load directly into Everest, or if you're a speedrunner who likes to um, submit their times, you can't use Everest, it's just not allowed. Uh, so you can load into Vanilla Celeste here. Clicking the little cogwheel will allow you to run any kind of updates that have happened. So if anything happens, you can quickly go and just install. Uh, manage your installed mods. This is really nice. This actually opens a list of all the mods that you have, so you can add, delete, whatever you gotta do. Ahorn Map Editor. This is gonna be a totally different video. I wanted to really just touch on like the installation process of Everest. Ahorn is the map maker for Celeste. This is how you make your custom maps. I do have a custom map tutorial. I actually have a lot of them on the channel. They're, um, they're in a playlist, it's easy to find. Uh, but this is obviously going to be an updated video coming very soon. Options and updates, uh, which is really nice. You can change the theme based on you know what your preferences are. Light theme, dark theme, cool backgrounds, certain qualities. Any updates found, you can get them in there. Any news that is coming out in the community is going to be available here. Like tons of great stuff just all built into one spot. It makes everything super easy. And yeah, this is, this is by far 
the best interface that I've seen for this. And, and Jade did an amazing job putting all of this together. All right, that is all we have. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to use all the links in the description below. Hit me up down in the comment section if there's anything further that I can do. And until next time, have a great night.